Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Today we are doing another video in the 2022 lipstick series. We are doing brown lipsticks today. Some of my favorite brown lipsticks from my collection. I have already done wine and berry shades. So I will leave the playlist in the description box if you want to check out those videos. But today we are doing brown. So without much further ado, let's quickly get started with today's video. Okay, so I'm going to show you some beautiful brown lipsticks. I'm going to show you lighter brown shades, which can be nude lipsticks on my kind of skin tone. And I'll also show you some deeper brown shades, very rich brown shades. So stay tuned. So the first one which I'm going to show you today is this one, which I'm wearing right now. In fact, I have done this entire makeup look in one of the tutorials, which I think I have already posted. If I have not posted, then that is coming soon. So I will leave that video in the description box. So the first one is from Juvia's Place. Look at the packaging. It's so pretty. I think this release uh, launched about two years back. This is from their matte range collection. These lipsticks, in fact, all the lipsticks are still available. So you can purchase them. This is the shade Toffee from the brown collection. Love this lipstick. It's a very beautiful soft matte kind of a lipstick. A semi matte lipstick, not drying, but matte looking. And you can see it has a brown uh, undertone of course it's a brown lipstick but it has a warm caramel nude brown kind of undertone on my skin tone at least it looks nudish brown so i love this it's a very perfect everyday lipstick this lipstick is not highly long wearing though but i love the color and it's very comfortable very easy to touch up pigmentation on these lipsticks are also good uh, you have to layer up to get very very opaque pigmentation so this i will highly recommend from juvia's place these are not very expensive also these are around the 16 or 17 dollars mark as usual i have forgotten to swatch the lipstick so let me swatch the lipstick here that's the juvia's place shade toffee which is a warmish caramel kind of a brown very very beautiful okay Second shade for today, this is from L'Oreal Paris, very, very popular shade. In fact, mine is in older packaging. This is a shade Divine Mocha, which I have raved about on my channel. This is a very, very nice brown. This is like an almond brown, which has a little bit of that reddish tinge to it. If you can see, here are the swatches. This one is Divine Mocha. You can see this one has a slight almond brown reddish tone to it. So it's a brown but with a very very nice pretty looking uh, reddish vibe and this lipstick is also of course perfect for everyday in fact I have worn this lipstick so so much and it's also a matte looking formula it's not a drying formula super comfortable pigmentation of this one is actually amazing in fact I like the pigmentation of this one better than the Juvia's Place one maybe because of the color I don't know but pigmentation is amazing staying power is also very decent okay next is this lipstick from Huda Beauty another warm toned brown lipstick called Game Night this is how the lipstick looks like it's a very very nice brown like a proper true brown lipstick and on my skin tone it almost looks like a perfect nude so it's a nice warm brown shade which you can wear so this is the Huda Beauty Game Night the Juvia's Place one was even more warmer, more caramelly. This is a truer brown. Love the formula. What else to say about Huda Beauty lipsticks? I just love these matte formulation. Uh, they are so comfortable, quite long wearing and they don't slip and slide. Very, very saturated, very pigmented. Love this. I have a full review video which I have uploaded very recently. So I'll leave all the related videos in the description box. Today it's only about the swatches. So the third lipstick is Huda Beauty Game Night. This is the fourth shade for today from ABH, the Anastasia Beverly Hills semi matte lipsticks. These are called the matte lipstick in the shade Toffee. So this is how it looks like. This is also a perfect brown, like a chocolate brown shade. On my skin tone, it looks like a nude lipstick. So I cannot be happier about it very very apt for everyday use it's also a matte looking formula but it's not completely matte very comfortable pigmentation wise you have to build up a little bit uh, it's not drying as the older uh, abh matte lipsticks this formulation is totally different very comfortable non-drying so this is how this one looks like 
so you can see the tones of the four brown shades i have sh shown you right now all of them are beautiful all the four shades which i have shown you and they are so different from each other <laughs> the next four shades are going to be a little bit deeper they are not going to look like nude lipsticks on my skin tone they are going to look like brown lipsticks deep brown lipsticks the first one is from color bar in fact the next one is also from an indian brand called laika so this one is color bar which is an indian brand is the shade xxx and these are the sinful matte lipsticks this is also a beautiful shade the pigmentation is oh my god so beautiful look at that rich pigmentation it's a rich chocolatey brown shade very very deep chocolatey brown and i love this color it looks so vibrant as in the face just brightens up when you wear shades like this and it's not like a true brown it's a chocolatey brown with a hint of like red so it just enhances the lipstick further and on my kind of skin tone it looks amazing pigmentation as i already mentioned amazing very very similar to pat mcgrath lipsticks in terms of pigmentation stain power quite good these are from color bar the sinful matte lipsticks the shade xx next lipstick amazing i really love this one as well this is from another indian brand called nika and this is the shade deja nude and look at the color it's a deep rich chocolate brown shade this one doesn't have too much of a reddish tone it is a true uh, brown like a chocolatey brown i'll just watch it i'll show you you can see the difference so the first one was the color bar shade you can see there's a little bit of a red tinge although that's also a chocolate brown shade this one has a little less of a red tinge more of a chocolate brown uh, this lipstick is also super super pigmented uh, it's a cream lipstick it's not a matte looking lipstick it's not a matte formulation it's a cream formulation so there is a slight bit of a glossiness and sheen on the lips uh so the lipstick transfers of course but it's still pretty long wearing uh there is some fading from the inner corners of the lips if you eat or drink something uh but for most part it's a quite a nice long wearing lipstick considering the price these are quite inexpensive i think these are around 199 or 299 so considering that the pigmentation the staying power is amazing and i love the color this is also a darker brown shade compared to the previous ones which i showed you so if you are in india you can try this one this is the next lipstick isn't this just gorgeous this is from pat mcgrath the shade flesh 3 so this is a deep brownish rose kind of a color it has a slight hint of red and pink but it's mostly brown it looks like a deep nude on my kind of skin tone love the formulation love the pigmentation on this lipstick it is so so pigmented it's just saturated with color look at that shade so that's the pat mcgrath shade flesh 3 so you can see a difference of this one with this one which is more chocolatey brown this one has a slight tinge of like pink or red like a reddish pink brown lovely lovely shade and this one looks glossy now because i have not blotted it so let me quickly blot it and there you go look at that look at the color saturation and how matte it looks on the lips and it is not uncomfortable at all what to say about pat mcgrath lipsticks super pigmented highly comfortable uh, but very very long wearing if you wear it for very long hours however probably around the 9 10 hours mark it will may get slightly bit drying but it's not annoying at all it is super comfortable for most of the wear next we have this one this is the eighth lipstick which i am showing you a very dark deep chocolate brown shade i will say this is more like a burnt chocolate brown color which has a little bit of a cool tone vibe these are from lisa elrich this is the velvet lipsticks from lisa elrich and the shade is velvet decade it's a beautiful rich color if you like rich color like this rich deep dark brown shades then definitely consider this the lisa elrich lipstick i'll just swatch it it's a completely different shade from what i have shown you till now it's a beautiful rich brown shade i hope you can see that's the one super super gorgeous especially for my kind of skin tone this lipstick shade looks amazing i will highly recommend if you are close to my skin tone to try out these kind of shades 
these are very unique kind of shade i think i don't have anything which is something similar to this uh, and i have not tried more lipsticks which are similar to this and the formula of course the lisa elrich velvet lipsticks they are just super popular they just they sell out like this and they are just super comfortable matte looking but not matte highly highly pigmented and the lipstick bullet itself is just so pretty it has that velvety texture when you look at the lipstick it just looks it just looks beautiful it's a work of art okay guys so i have shown you eight bullet lipsticks so far the next two lipsticks which i'm going to show you are going to be liquid lipsticks and both are from the same brand huda beauty the huda beauty liquid matte lipsticks this is the first one which i'm wearing it's the shade spice girl this is how it looks like it's a perfect dark chocolate brown shade and it's like it's not too warm not too cool it's just perfect it's a proper dark chocolate brown shade i just swatch it here now this will look a little bit glossy here because it's not dried down but it's a matte lipstick i think you are familiar with huda beauty liquid lipsticks so you can see it's a proper chocolate brown a darker chocolate brown color this is how it looks spice girl it's a beautiful tone i even have the uh, liner the lip liner for this and i use that lip liner for almost every nude lipstick so it's just a beautiful shade it's a perfect brown lipstick lipstick size is small because i had purchased this as a part of a set that set i forgot what it's called but it's uh, still available you can still buy it so this one is spice girl and this is the next shade is the shade billionaire and this is even deeper than spice girl even richer than spice girl i'll just swatch it first and this is also a deep dark chocolate brown color here we can see billionaire super super gorgeous color more deeper than this very very deeper than in fact all the others this one and this one from uh, lisa elridge are one of the deeper lipsticks i have beautiful this is also a beautiful shade very rich just brightens up the whole look the whole face and when you have simple eye makeup like this you can definitely go for lipstick shades like this it's so beautiful the only thing uh, is i'm not sure if this is a permanent collection or not i didn't really find the shade billionaire in their permanent range but this is available as a set so both of this, these lipsticks were part of the set and that set is still available okay guys so that's it for today's video those are the 10 brown lipsticks in my collection which are just amazing and i love them i hope you also like these shades do let me know which is your favorite brown lipstick which you own i would love to know if you like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're watching for the first time i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for watching i will see you again really soon in my next video bye